Good morning! No makeup, shock horror! I just wanted to show you guys what I've been working on. I figured since Stacy's coming, we might as well uh, get the house looking sorta of nice and the yard for her dog and everything. So I'm mowing the grass, but check out how high it's grown in just a matter of like a week and a half. So crazy, it's all the rain. So the front yard is mowed, we just have to edge and stuff. But I'm trying to clean up this cooler and the only thing I can think of to clean it with is like a car wash cleaner because it has some grime on it. Do you think it'll work? I don't know if you guys can tell, but I had a little bit of a fail with the hose because the, uh, the nozzle was open. So it just sprayed everywhere. It was awesome. It's clean. Got all the gunk off the top. Well, for the most part, I couldn't get all of it off. We'll be ready to put some beer and some things in here. I'm trying to get Tim's pants ready for tonight because we're going to go see the Blue Man Group. And his pants, we went to this party. The people that threw the party didn't wash their chairs. It left this white chalk all over Tim's brand new pants. And I didn't realize that they had that. So I'm trying to figure out how to get it out. I got it out of most every other part, but it's just this one little area here and this area down here that I can't seem to get out. So shoot. Yeah, yeah, I got it out without having to take him to the dry cleaner. Once again, this is a cool thing that Tim's mom bought us. It's the Gleanser, the ultimate fuzz remover. This is supposed to be like to get off dog hair or fuzz or lint and then this like shave your sweaters and things like that. But I just used this end and it kind of like got all that chalky nastiness out. And I might just kind of refresh him with like a spray. Yay, just saved me some money so I didn't have to go to the dry cleaner. Woo! Happy Friday everybody and happy start of the anniversary weekend, my lady. Yeah, thanks. We are going somewhere special. Should we tell them now or did you already tell them? I didn't tell them. We're gonna go see the Blue Man Group. We couldn't show you guys Blue Men that one day that we went to the Science Center, so we thought, what better way to show you guys the Blue Men than to go to the Blue Man Group show at Universal. And see some Blue Men. Yeah. I don't know how much of it I'll be able to film. I'm not really supposed to film any of it, but I'll try to sneak a few clips in here and there. Yeah. You know how we do. I'm even wearing my my dress with the blue accents in honor of the Blue Men group. Yeah. Yeah. Look what at that. What do you guys think? Do you love it? I've, I've actually never worn this dress. I bought it from the store that I used to work at so that I could wear it to work and then I didn't work there anymore so I just had this dress. So I'm finally gonna wear it for a special occasion. Funny story about Blue Man Group is we went and saw them two years ago in between our wedding at Universal and our wedding in Ireland. And now we're going back two years from then to see them again. It's a totally different show so it should be new to us almost to the day it's within a week or two it's pretty impressive and it was all both of them were just strokes of luck there's a rainbow over yonder and it is so beautiful i'm still waiting to get it into the frame there it is can you guys see it king kong 110 you guys remember that then let me know when we're done okay because i'm not gonna remember i feel like we make this walk far too often i do like coming in here when everybody's leaving it's cool looking like a mass exodus. Quietest roller coaster ever. Man, it smells like delicious, delicious hamburgers over here. Yum. You want a hamburger? I do. I want like barbecue and hamburger and steak and seafood. I want I want it all. I want the world. <laughs> We're going to see Blue Man Group. There they are. Say look, they sent us down some random dark tunnel. It's kind of exciting back here. I wonder what's behind this. All the blue men. Oh yeah. This is where all the extra blue men are. Yeah, we keep them in barrels. Yeah, look at this. Very blue manny. And then what? Who did we see? Ashley? Oh, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. It's nice yeah. to see you. All the people down in the front row have to put on ponchos. They just started. Well, that guy's getting angry. I think we picked college kid night to go. Because they're like, they're having crazy college kid stuff. But we got our beer. Yeah. So we're good. And even though most of us live alone in urban isolation, this system represents one of the few ways all of our lives are intertwined. This system is modern plumbing.
can see it. The cannon gun. Oh, 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 hit the roof. Confetti cannon. Yeah. Oh, it came so close. Oh, look at these bags that are coming out. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, and they have like a giant man on stage. These things are great. Oh, 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 there it is. There it is. Yeah. Oh, yay. Woo. Yeah, that was exciting. Give us our balls back. Can we push our balls forward so we can retrieve them now? If there are any balls near you, whether they are large or small, please give them a tap so that they move towards the stage. Tap my balls. However, please do not tap our balls too aggressively because this might cause them to travel upwards into the inner workings where they might get stuck. So please move our balls gently towards the stage now. Thank you. For the safety of those around you, we ask that you please release our balls from your grip and push them forward onto the stage. to meet him, oh sort meet of. Him. Do I have blue stuff on me? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> so what did you think of the blue men? Oh, I loved it. It was so cool. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. By the way, if you guys have to go to the bathroom after the blue man, head over to these Nickelodeon bathrooms and nobody in them ever. You guys remember where we parked? We were supposed to remember. We just came home from Blue Man Group and our uh, house guest is coming tomorrow, which is Tim's sister. So we thought it would be nice to make her these apple caramel things. And what we're gonna do is make them into cupcakes, like little muffins for the morning. So it called for three eggs and I put the eggs in. I don't know if you guys can see this. This egg had two little, tiny, like two little yolks in it. So there's one here and one here. And Tim said, they're twins. They're twins. So is that, that's good luck, right? Like, are these gonna be good luck muffins? I don't think it's very good luck that they didn't actually make it to be twins. Oh, way to bring the party down, Tim. So very tired, but that was a fun night. And tomorrow, we live on vacation. To the beach. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.